All right, so today we're going to be talking about joint element lists. But before we get started, I want to show you something uh, to show you why you might want to use joint element lists. All right, now I have a filter here on the screen, and you can see it's just a filter on year 2015 and 2016. And we're also selecting a few categories books, electronics, and music. Okay, now this is fine in most cases, right? Let's suppose we want to, you know, filter for these years and these categories. But what if we wanted only books for 2015 and maybe electronics for 2015 and we wanted 2016 but we only wanted to see movies for 2016 how would you go about this now you can do this with a normal filter but you'd have to like change the indents and you know change change them to change mess around with the and and ors right but you know an easier way to do this is with a joint element list so let's jump in and get started and i'll show you how to do this now, it's not something I use too often, to be completely honest, but nevertheless, let's get started. It is something you should know how to use. So we're going to come here. We're going to right-click. We're going to create a new filter. Click OK. And then we're going to come in here, and we're going to add an advanced qualification. Now, if you don't see this option in your MicroStrategy environment, there is a project setting that you have to enable to in order to see advanced qualifications. Uh, but simple Google search and you, you should be able to find that setting. So let's click OK. And in the, uh, this option box, we'll come down here and we'll select Joint Element List. Now, what this is for is this is for combining different elements, different attributes and elements uh, to make a filter, right? So let's see how this goes, gets, let's see how this works. So let's suppose we wanted to choose certain categories, okay, and certain quarter or a certain year, let's say, certain year combinations, right? So let's say we want to do reporting on certain categories, but only for certain years, right? But only for certain years for certain categories, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's let's see how this works. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click this the red little element uh, icon here. And you see Books 2014. So let's go ahead and edit this. Now let's say we were interested in um, running a report against electronics. For the year, so let's come here and select year, 2015. Let's say that was one um, combination of elements we wanted in our report. Okay. Now let's come down here and add another one. Let's say we also wanted um, to pull metrics for, let's say, books. We'll leave it as books. And let's say we wanted the year to be 2016. Okay. Let's add one more. I think you get the idea though. And let's say we wanted movies for the year 2015. So we'll select year and we'll click 2015 and we'll click OK. All right. So now, when we add this filter to a report, it is only going to pull data based on for electronics in 2015, for books in 2016, and for movies in 2015. Okay. So we're combining these elements. So let's click OK. And then we'll save this. And we'll save it as joint list. OK. Now let's go ahead and let's create a report. Create a blank report. And we'll go ahead and let's add our filter. So we'll drag over our joint element list. Let's go ahead, just so you can see how this works, let's go ahead and select the year. And let's select the category. So products, category, just so you can see how this works. And let's go ahead and add a metric. We'll just add revenue, keep it simple. And we'll go ahead and run this. OK, and now as you can see, it didn't pull all all categories or all or all categories for all these years, right? It only pulled the combination of elements that we chose. So we chose electronics 2015, movies 2015. That's all you see here, and we chose books, but only books for 2016. So this is how joint element lists work. They're they're for when you really want to create unique combinations um, of attributes and combine them and combine their elements um, to make a unique filter. Uh, so again, not something I use too often, but that is how joint element lists work.
All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.